What's going on, nation? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to maximize tricep growth with dips. Now, if you're going to the gym and you only have time to do one exercise to really hammer your triceps, dips should be at the top of your list. And the reason being is because dips target all three heads of the tricep, your lateral, medial, and long head. And what that's going to do is help you guys build that horseshoe that goes all the way around your arm. Keep in mind that triceps are two-thirds of your arms, so if you want big arms, you need to train your triceps hard. But before we get started with the dips, I want you to first do a shoulder warm-up. You can do something as simple as taking a PVC pipe and doing shoulder breakers, which is when you grab the bar pretty close with your hands, or as close as you can, start at your thighs, go up and over your head, down and back, touch your butt with the bar, and then up and over again, and do two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. If you have really tight shoulders, you can check out my shoulder warm-up video right here, and that should help you loosen up. Now you can do the dip a couple different ways to target your muscles differently. The dip is mainly going to target your chest, triceps, lower traps, and shoulders, and you're going to be really working your anterior deltoid on this exercise, which is why you want to make sure your shoulders are nice and loose so you don't risk an injury. But if you grab wide on the dip bar and you slightly lean forward, it's still going to hit your triceps, but you're bringing a lot more chest into the exercise. If you go on the dip bar with your hands really close together, elbows by your side, that's going to help you isolate your triceps more. So let's go over here real quick, and I'm going to show you guys that form. So a wider grip, so I'm going to reach towards the back of my dip bar. I'm going to lean forward slightly and come down nice and slow and controlled, and then push up. Now if you want to isolate your triceps more, not only are you going to grab closer on the handles, but you're going to keep your chest upright as well. Just like that. Now when you guys do dips, I also want to make sure that you're training in the full range of motion. Lock out at the top and then dip as low as you can. The reason being is because you're going to maximize your growth during the negative. That is where you do all or most of the ripping and tearing of the muscle. So if you're doing half reps, you're cutting that amount of time in half where you can be targeting your triceps for more growth. And for most people, they say they like to do half reps because it maintains tension on the muscle. Well, I can assure you that if you hold yourself in the top position or the bottom position of this exercise for any length of time, you're going to start to feel your arms fatigue and shake and you're not going to be able to hold it anymore. Most people do half reps in my opinion because they don't want to risk not looking macho in the gym. So they want to have as much weight as possible into doing weighted triceps and they do the half reps. Not us. We're going to do full range of motion and focus on that slow negative. Now I also want you to keep in mind that over time it can become dangerous doing a half rep because you're more susceptible to having an injury in whatever range of motion that you don't train in, no matter what exercise it is. So if you're not used to going all the way down like this, and then all the way back up, and you start doing, say, weighted dips, and your weighted dip only goes halfway, that one time that you think you're going to go all the way down, that's when you risk having the injury. That's when you risk really blowing out your shoulder, because your body's not used to having that amount of weight on it in that shorter range of motion that you've been skipping. So if you're doing weighted dips now and you're going to get into them, I want you to lower the weight first or do just body weight and get used to that full range of motion first and slowly start adding weight to the exercise. So what I'm going to do right now is show you guys how to add weight to a dip using two different things. The first method I'm going to show you guys is using a dumbbell. And all you're going to do is kind of hook it between your legs by placing it between your thighs like this, putting one leg up to kind of support it, and then use your other foot to help you jump up, and as soon as you jump up, just bring both legs behind like this and interlock your ankles. And then you should be ready to go up and down, no problem. And as soon as you're done, you can step down, grab the weight, or if your gym allows you, just drop it on the ground. The second way to do a weighted dip is with a belt. Most gyms have belts, and all you have to do is just put it around your waist and hang the weight in between you. 
Now I'm going to recommend that you change the lengths on the belt. As you can see, I've shortened mine a few lengths on each side. Because if the chain's too long and you have weight dangling between your legs, it might throw you off balance. So you want to get that weight as tight as you can without impeding the form of the exercise. So just like that, and once again, just jump up, cross your ankles, all the way down, all the way up. Another thing you want to keep in mind when doing a dip is you want to keep your wrist as straight as possible. A lot of people, especially if they start adding weight, their hands go from here to here to here to where they're putting all that pressure on your wrist. Keep your hands as straight as you can when doing a dip. Now, if you don't have a dip station in your gym, you can utilize two benches to do the exercise as well. And I've set up two benches over here for you guys. Now, the same principles are going to apply here that apply to the dip station. The wider you go, you're going to target a little more chest. The closer you go, the more you're going to isolate your triceps. Some people like doing it on the benches better because they feel like they can isolate their triceps more because you get your hands super close together, kind of like when you do a diamond push-up. So I'm going to sit down real quick. All you're going to do is have two benches adjacent to each other and put your feet up like this and then dip down as low as you can and push back up. So this way it's targeting a little bit more chest. If you really want to isolate your triceps, put your hands together kind of like a diamond behind you. Now you can add weight to this exercise as well. You can have somebody help you by placing the weight on your thighs when you're already in position. Or, you can sit up straight, place the weight there yourself, and then just safely pick up your feet and get started with the exercise. So there you guys have it. That's how you maximize dips for muscle growth in your triceps. For more great tips, exercises, and routines, Feel free to join us at scarherbandfitness.com. And as always, guys, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.